This is a follow-up tutorial to the previous one where I created this animated blob, so if you want to continue with this one, make sure you go watch that first. Having said that, the first thing I'm about to do is merely add some audio to the scene, nothing special here. That done, now to synchronize the animations with the beats, I'm going to use the audio analyzer feature in 3GS, which provides real-time frequency of the audio input. So I'm going to create an audio analyzer instance and pass in the sound in the desired FFT size as arguments to the constructor. FFT size is a power of 2 between 2 to the power of 5 and 2 to the power of 15, and it is used behind the scenes in the algorithm that determines the frequencies. Now, since we want to use the values returned by the analyzer to set the positions of the vertices, I'll need to create a uniform so we can pass those values to the vertex shader. Next, we'll update this property with the frequencies returned by the getAverageFrequency method, and before I do that, let me get rid of the rotations. Now, I'm going to create the uniform in the vertex shader and use it to set the displacement value. As you can see, the agitation level is a bit high, so let's lower it a little bit. And that's pretty much it for the vertex shader, so let's introduce the GUI to modify the colors of the blob. So the first step I'm going to do is import the GUI library which I have already installed. Actually, I already explained all of what I'm doing in this part in my 3GS tutorial. The only thing that I'm going to add is that I'll pass the values returned by the GUI to three uniforms that I'll use in the fragment shader as the RGB values. I'll get rid of the resolution uniform since I no longer need it. I got a dark sphere here since I have the initial values of the uniform set to zero, so let's change them to one. Now time to add some glow using the Unreal Bloom Pass, which I covered in a dedicated video explaining the exact steps I'm going to do here.
Finally, I'll introduce a cool camera animation effect that I recently learned and also made a tutorial on. The camera looks a bit too close to the visualizer, so let's move it a little farther away.